Welcome back to Mighty Mike's dining room. This video is going to be I'm doing a shadow boxing in my dining room, and I'm just going to show you guys how I came about the dimensions, uh, how I, you know, designed it, and then install it. Take a watch. So what I did is I came into SketchUp and I drew out the dimensions of the wall where I wanted to have the shadow boxing. I took into account where the window, the outlets, and the heating vent are. Um, if you want a good tutorial on how to use SketchUp, Jay Bates has a pretty good uh, list of library uh, explaining how to use SketchUp. I grew up using CAD, AutoCAD. So it's along the same lines, it's a little, little different, but this I figured was the easiest way to draw it out other than sketch it on paper. Um, it was pretty easy uh, as far as the dimensions because I came down four inches from the base, the bottom of the chair rail. I came up four inches from the top of the base molding just to make it easier to get a, a four inch roller around that area. Um, you know, and then I, as far as dividing these up, it's pretty easy. Uh, the only one that took a little bit of configuring would be this big wall here that I broke up into three equal spots. Uh, I didn't want to make it too big. Um, I know this wall here at uh, where the window is, they're a little longer, but I think it'll be all right. I think it'll look all right. Um, so. That is how I decided what it would look like. I uh, figured the easiest thing would be to put it on here. I can erase and delete and redraw a whole lot easier than on paper. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I will bring these dimensions out into the shop and start cutting pieces. Marathon. <laughs> That's the name of the. What? <laughs> Izzy's Marathon. <laughs> 